ARM64 vs. x64, ah, the classic tale of computing architectures. We must first address what ARM64 and x64 really represent before throwing them into a cage match. These are, in essence, the blueprints that dictate how processors handle information, and they both have quite the identity in our modern tech saga. Let's kick off with ARM64. It's the architecture used by ARM processors, which stands for Advanced RISC Machine. RISC means Reduced Instruction Set Computing. It's a mouthful, I know, but bear with me. ARM64, also known as Arch64, is a 64-bit architecture often found in our smartphones, tablets, and now even some lightweight laptops. The reason it's a hot topic nowadays is because it's a darling for energy efficiency. It simplifies complex processes into smaller, less energy-consuming operations. Consequently, it's like a cross-country runner. Not usually the fastest sprinter, but it'll run for miles without asking for a water break. Now let's jab over to X64, which is also known as X8664 or AMD64. This this has been the go-to for personal computers and servers for a couple of decades. It's a 64-bit extension of the original 32-bit x86 architecture championed by Intel and later by AMD as well, which led to the AMD 64 moniker. This powerhouse architecture is more like a heavyweight boxer, able to handle big, complex operations all at once, partially thanks to a larger instruction set. But just like a boxer, it can get winded, using more power and generating more heat in the process. The slugfest between the two boils down to their design philosophies. The RISC approach of ARM64 delivers high-efficiency, long battery life devices, which are perfect for when you're on the move. Meanwhile, the X64 takes a CISC, complex instruction set computing route, punching out higher performance at the cost of energy. So picture this, you're at a coffee shop in Portland, coding away on your ARM64 powered laptop. Battery life for days. But when you're home, Working on that intense video edit or gaming session, your X64 machine is the beast you rely on for its raw power and performance. In essence, the battle between ARM64 and X64 isn't a matter of who wins. It's about using the right tool for the right job. Whether you're after efficiency and portability or raw horsepower for demanding tasks, these architectures have you covered. And as we venture further into the era of computing versatility, remember, the real winner is you having the power to choose the architecture that best suits your needs. Also, whether you're sipping on a latte or nestled at home in Portland or anywhere else, the computational world is your oyster.